Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to start a series of videos exploring the modes on the electric guitar. The modes are a type of scales that many guitar players are fearful of at first but over the next couple of videos we're going to demystify these and break them down in a way that is super easy to understand and give you some great practical tips on how you can start using them in your own playing. All the tones you're hearing in this video are coming from my Shergold Provocateur which is plugged into the Blackstar HT20 Mark II which is currently running on the Drive channel. So the modes as I said are a type of scale. In total there are seven modes. Each mode is connected to a different note from the major scale. So the major scale is essentially the gateway to all music theory and all music understanding. If you understand what the major scale is, you can essentially turn that into any other theory concept you wish. So we're gonna start off by looking at the major scale and then we're gonna look at how we can branch this off into different modes. Each mode is essentially a different type of tonality, which is sort of a different musical feel or a different musical sound. So you can split the modes up into major modes and minor modes. And there is a diminished mode which we'll cover in a later video but we don't have to worry about that for today. So the good thing with tonality is we can use the modes to put it into a major or a minor category and then using those different tonalities we can subdivide into different modes to create different textures and feels. Now at first this may sound pretty complex but as we dive through this series of videos I assure you you will find this quite a useful and quite an easy topic to get to grips with. So first of all, let's start with the major scale. So I'm gonna show you the major scale in the key of A major. So it's gonna be like this. So that is the A major scale in the usual, typical A major scale shape that we all know. If we break that down into a series of notes, we have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and G. And then the scale just repeats, so we're back to an A. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So when it comes to music theory and modes in particular, we often refer to notes in that scale as numbers. These numbers are known as intervals. In the major scale, those numbers are always just one through seven. We literally just give each note a number. So A is one, B is two, C sharp is three, D is four, E is five, F sharp is six, and G sharp is seven. And then we're back to the one, which is the A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are the intervals that go with each note. Now we can use intervals in any key. So if I did my major scale as a shape from a C note, that gives me a C major scale. But I'd still refer to the intervals as the same thing. So the third note of the scale is always the third interval. So the reason the intervals are very important here is because as we break this up into different modes and different tonalities, those intervals are our variables. So to create different tonalities and different ideas and different sounding modes, we vary certain intervals of the major scale. So the major scale itself is actually a mode of its own. This is actually known as the Ionian mode. This is the first mode out of the cycle of seven modes. All the modes are interconnected or you can use them as individual scales. How you learn the modes and how you use the modes really depends on how you want to apply them. I personally come from a rock and blues background, so for me the method that I'm gonna show you in these videos is the way that I think is easiest to approach the modes. There are, of course, other methods you can use to do this. So now that we know the major scale, which is the Ionian mode, we're actually gonna look at how to vary some of those notes and turn this into a scale known as the natural minor scale. This is also a mode, this is known as the Aeolian mode. This is actually the sixth mode in the cycle and there is a very important reason why I'm skipping from one to six, which will become apparent. Because what I'm doing here is I'm giving you two scales to start with, a fully major mode and a fully minor mode. And then everything else we learn in this series of videos is gonna bounce off these two ideas. So first of all, the major scale, as I said, numbers one through seven. That's very important because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start varying these notes. So I said the notes are A, B, and C sharp. So C sharp, the third note, this is the important note, this is called a major third. So to turn this into a minor mode, I need to flatten this note. We talked a little bit about this in the chord progression videos on the Black Star channel a couple of months back as well. So if you haven't learned about those yet, go check those out too, because these are also coming from the same idea of these scales. So we've got A, B, 
and C sharp. So to turn this into a minor, I need to flatten the C sharp to a C. So I get one, two, flat, three. But for the purpose of the scale, I'm gonna move this note to this position here on the eighth fret of the low E string. The fourth and fifth notes are gonna be the same, so it's gonna be D and E. So we've got A, B, C, D, E. The sixth note of the major scale was an F sharp, which I also need to flatten to an F note, but once again, I'm gonna move that to the eighth fret of the A string. And then the seventh note, which we previously played as a G sharp, also needs to be flattened to just a G. So that gives me A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back to A. Or one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, and one. And that is the seven notes there of the Aeolian mode. That's the natural minor scale. We can also carry that on then up the scale. So we've got our first octave. Then our second octave would start obviously from this note here, which is the A. And then we're going to the B note, the C, the D, E, F, G. And then we can carry on A, B, C on the high E string. So that there is our Aeolian mode, that's our natural minor scale. So this is what we would refer to as a minor scale. So it kind of looks like a minor pentatonic. You can think of it like a minor pentatonic with a couple of extra notes added, which is a B note and an F note or a two and a flat six in this case. So the reason I mentioned the minor pentatonic scale is because this is how I want you to envision modes moving forward. So you can think of your modes, your minor modes in particular, as being linked to a minor pentatonic scale. So if you know where your minor pentatonic shape is, you can find the modal notes inside of that. So we've got our first string, that note there, the B, that's our modal note, that's the two. On the A string, it's the five and seven from the minor pentatonic with the modal note on the sixth fret. The D string is just the same, five and seven. On the G, it's also five and seven for minor pentatonic, but we've got this B note here on the fourth fret. On the B string, it's five and eight, but the modal note is this F note here on the sixth fret. And then the same thing is true then on the high E as the low E. We've got the five and eight, which is our pentatonic note, and the B note on the seventh fret, which is our modal note. So those are the notes we're adding to our minor pentatonic scale to make it a natural minor scale or an Aeolian mode. So the reason I find it useful to imagine this with an outline of a minor pentatonic scale is when I'm using this in a practical sense, if I'm soloing with a minor pentatonic shape, I can simply add those modal notes around my minor pentatonic legs. And it just gives me a different texture to use within the scale. And we can also imagine the major scale, the Ionian mode, in a pentatonic form. So to do this, we're gonna be using a major pentatonic. We're actually gonna use the fifth shape of the major pentatonic scale. So the A major pentatonic scale will be A, B, C sharp, E, and F sharp. And then that repeats. You may also recognize that as the second shape of the minor pentatonic scale. That's the first shape of the A major pentatonic scale. So interval wise, we've got one, two, three, five, and six. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restack those notes, starting from an A note, but in the form of a first position pentatonic scale. So to do that, I can actually come this side of the A note. So my A note here now is my first note. I'm gonna go A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. <laughs> This looks as if I'm playing an F sharp minor pentatonic scale because the key of F sharp minor shares the notes with the key of A major. So we've got A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. And I can go down to this F sharp if I want to because that's also still in the same key. 
So if I imagine a minor pentatonic shape from this A note here, I can start it from this F sharp note if I want to, but just for the ease of understanding this on a note basis, I'm gonna start from the A. So A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. And then if I repeat that, I've got A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, A. You see that fits into a first position pentatonic shape. This is also the fifth shape of the major pentatonic. Now I know there's a lot of crossing there between major and minor, but this is key to understanding the modes in this method. So what I can do is I can now build my mode from that position. So A, B, C sharp. Then I need to add a D. Then my next note is E, F sharp, G sharp, and then I'm back at the root. So A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Now you'll notice that is exactly the same shape as my natural minor. Except the only difference is where I'm starting in relation to the A. So this is another good way you can think about it. You could learn that one shape, your natural minor shape. A is the root. If the first finger is playing the root, we're playing this in a minor way. If we move this backwards, so my little finger is now on the root. That's now major, which is the Ionian mode. So those are two really easy scales there which use the same shape. So it's little finger playing the root is major, which is Ionian, index finger playing the root, minor, which is Aeolian. So those two are gonna be our starting point for all of these other videos. So go check out the tab that accompanies this lesson over on the Blackstar website. There should be a link for that down below in the description. You can see how these look written out. Learn them as shapes and then you can transpose them around the guitar. So if you take that A note that we said on the fifth fret and you move that up to a C for instance, you've got your C natural minor. But then if I put the C on my little finger there, I have my C major. So you can use this all over the guitar, but like I said, these two scale shapes, or this one scale shape in two positions, is gonna be the foundation for understanding the modes in all seven forms. So we're gonna be using variables for this as we go through our journey into modes. The great thing with these two shapes is they're both very closely linked to a pentatonic shape that by now you're probably very familiar with already. So you should find this pretty easy to integrate new notes into your existing licks. Let me know down below in the comments how you found this, how you've gotten on with this starting point for modes. And if you have any questions about the modes and how to use them, put those down below as well and we can address those in a future video. Don't forget to check out the other videos on Blackstar's YouTube channel. There's a bunch more free lessons just like this covering all sorts of different topics from theory to basic stuff, right up to some more intermediate and advanced concepts. And if there's anything you'd like to see us make a video about, throw that below as well. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please go check out musicteacher.com. There's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.